So I'd like you to open up the first door and let's look through this list. This is how to convert a number to scientific notation. So to convert a number to scientific notation, position the decimal point so that there is one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal point. That means when I look at this number here, let's go ahead and rewrite it. Oops, sorry. I'm going to want to get a decimal point there. Where is the decimal point starting though? They're always at the end of the number, right? Mm -hmm. So the first direction, let me zoom out so we can see both sides of this a little bit better. To convert it, a number to scientific notation, position a decimal point so that there is one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal point. That's why I want this here because I want to have just one number to the left of the decimal point. Count how many places you move the decimal to the right or the left. Well, if I started here, I'm going to count how many places I moved it to get it to here. And that is one, two, three, four, five places. This will be the exponent of the 10. So we're going to rewrite this as 3. 0.45, and I'm going to ignore those extra zeros there, times 10 to the fifth power. Where did I get the fifth? Because I moved the decimal how many places? Five. Five. If the original number was less than one, the exponent will be negative. Was this original number less than one or greater than one? It was greater than one. So is my my exponent is going to be positive then. If the original number was greater than 1, the exponent will be positive. If it's less than 1, it's going to be negative. So since we started out with a, a number above 1, the exponent's going to stay positive. But let's do a different number. This one is less than 1, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's a lot less than 1. Look at all of those decimal places over. We want to get the decimal. Let's first rewrite it. How many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4. Two, four, five, six. We want to get the decimal with one number to the left that's not a zero. So we're going to move this one, two, three, four, five. And how many times did we move it again? But the original number was less than 1, so we're going to put our negative 5 exponent. We haven't even talked about why it's a 10. It's because our number system is a base 10 system. Think about what you guys already know about place value. When we go from 1 to 10, we go by 10. 10 to 100, we go by 10. 100 to 1,000, we go times 10, right? That's why this number is a 10. And that's why when we look at this formula, we can put variables in for the A and the B, but the number times is always going to be times 10. Sorry, we skipped right past that. Okay, so that's converting numbers to scientific notation. We had 345,000, and we said that's the same as saying 3.45 times 10 to the fifth power. We're just not dealing with all the zeros when we do it this way. Next flap is converting numbers from scientific notation. So let's open that one up. I'm just going to read through these, and then we'll do two examples. Look at the value of the exponent on the 10. This is how many places you will move the decimal point. So this variable, or, or not variable, this exponent is really important. It's telling us what we're going to move. If the exponent on the 10 is positive, the original number was greater than 1. Move the decimal point to the right that many places. So I want you guys to underline that. If the exponent is positive, you move to the right. Makes sense if you think about a number line, doesn't it? Things that are positive are to the right of zero, and things that are negative are to the left. left. So if the exponent is negative, 
we move the decimal point to the left. So we're going to convert 2.45 times 10 to the negative fifth from scientific notation into a number. So first thing you want to do is write the 2.45. And we're going to move the decimal point to the left. How many places? Five. Five. So in my messy way, I just do it this way. One, two, three, four, five. And I fill each of those in with a zero. And this equals zero point one, two, three, four, two, four, five, which is a very small number. The next one, we're converting 1.67 times 10 to the eighth from scientific notation. It's a positive uh, exponent. I keep saying variable. A positive exponent. So we're going to move to the right. Let's rewrite 1.67. And we're going to make eight bumps over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's our number. So as we started off with scientific notation as a way that scientists created to not have to write all these zeros as they're dealing with a lot of data that's either giant numbers or teeny numbers. And we're going to do a little bit of practice with that.